Hello, today I will be doing my research prospectus presentation on the topic of what I'd like to refer to as perpetual loneliness. One theme that stuck out to me amongst all the texts and movies that we read and watched in class were th was that the main characters always seemed to be lonely and isolated. Now, whether or not they were actually lonely and isolated physically didn't really seem to change the fact that they're, they exhibited similar emotional attitudes and just attitudes towards their lives in general that made that got me thinking. Could this be a bigger thing and could this actually be something that could occur in, if time travel ever became real in the future? It was this question that led me to develop my thesis being experiencing time dilation or purposefully traveling through time can create feelings of extreme isolation and depression. So now I'll be delving into my primary sources for my research paper. So for my primary sources, I chose to do Two, one movie and one book that we specifically read and watched in class, plus an extra, another movie, which is an adaptation of The Time Machine, which is the novel we read in class. So why did I pick these? So for Interstellar, it seems obvious. Cooper consistently feels lonely throughout his travels. And another reason I picked this is specifically for the ending scene in which he is forced to confront his daughter, who is old now, and yet he is still young which will highlight what time dilation can do and how this can create feelings of depression in someone. Secondly, the Time Machine movie in particular has a scene in which someone who he is in love with dies and he actually has knowledge of how this death happens. And this makes him obsessed with it and wants to go and want to go back in time, which ends up being his downfall. Lastly, in All You Zombies, it seems obvious again, being that the main character has knowledge of his entire life and how everything plays out. He also is his own creator, and this creates this feeling, this creates a loop of isolation and endless loneliness essentially, because he is in his he is his own creator and his own future, essentially. So there is no there is no one else in his life other than himself, really. So what are the wider implications of this? Well, we see that the psychological effects of changing one's perception of time or simply traveling through it can have, are, are, dra are drastic and varying depending on the specific situation. We see that time dilation in particular can cause, feel can create feelings of extreme isolation and separation from the, those around you. We see this in Interstellar very clearly when Cooper is forced to confront his, her, uh, confront his daughter and he sees her being old and he is still young and you can imagine how hard that would be on someone. Next, the knowledge and, and the knowledge of how you or others around you will die or get hurt can also create feelings of depression and loneliness in your life. This is obvious. Which and why this is obvious, I'll get into in my secondary sources in a second. But essentially, for the no knowing how others around you will die or get hurt, creates this creates a feeling of being unable to have positive future thinking, which has been proven to actually be a major factor in in someone's happiness in their life. And this can be likened to being or knowing a person with a terminal illness. Someone with a terminal illness simply can't have a completely positive outlook on their life because they know that they will die and they know how they will die. Knowing this can, can, create, can create feelings of depression, anxiety, and other symptoms that simply aren't good. And this is, important, this is an important factor to look into when considering the possible future of time travel. So I picked out three secondary sources so far. First, being the effects of long-lasting social isolation and re-socialization on cognitive performance and brain activity, a longitudinal study in Oct Octodon Degas. So this source specifically looks at so socialization and what I'm specifically focusing on, the idea of re-socialization after coming back from a period of time dilation. Next, depression, anxiety, and delirium in the terminal ill patient. This is obvious and obviously important again for my argument about how this is relating back to being terminally ill if you know how you're going to die. And finally, future thinking and depression, which is also very important in knowing 
how you're going to how you're going to die in the future and how this creates an, a perpetual loop of negative future thinking. Lastly, here's my work cited and thanks for listening.